back here for round five. Counting the, the corrupted one, but uh, two and two. Won the die roll. Hand is a little bit of a clunker, but I think we're going to keep it. Kind of the classic problem with these three colored X is not being able to play on curve all the time. Or in this case, the Raven Inspector being a honorary two drop in most games. So we can play Pacifist on two here by playing our Fortify Village. Um, well, it's actually awkward because no matter what we do with the lands we have in our hand right now, one of them's entering the battlefield tap on the third turn, so I guess there's no reason not to play our Pacifist. Got a little bit of a rematch versus black white control. Probably losing our tireless tracker. I don't know whether it's actually better to get our passives to flip or play Thraven Inspector if we have the option. Kinda seems like I'd rather my passives flip. It's pretty risky if our opponent has a removal spell, but like just getting a Thraven Inspector on the battlefield doesn't really put any pressure on our opponent, so it's tough. Although in this case, I'm pretty happy just playing Tracker, I think. Although maybe Inspector crack the clue and then save the Tracker for when we can play it and play a land immediately is better. I think I like that, actually. The way like our, our threats are lining up, the language is going to be really rough. Good draw. Kind of surprised not to see like Ruinous Path, Ultimate Price, or Grasp of Darkness. I don't know why our opponent would really wait, to be honest. Secure for two? Weird. Alright, the fact that they're chumping Thraven Inspector kind of. I, I think it just means they have to have Languish, but I'm, I'm still fine playing the Inspector since I can crack the clue and he uses my mana. I think I have Collected Company available. And I'm probably just going to actually counter the pass or put a counter on Lambhole Butcher and make our opponent sacrifice an enchantment if they do actually languish. So and they know about this Dramokas command, so I don't really understand this line. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Getting any value of Tremoka's command in this matchup is awesome, though. So if they had just 
played secure on their main phase for two, wouldn't have been able to attack with our pacifist, and it wouldn't have flipped, so we couldn't have put a counter on it for it to survive languish, so I think that was a pretty big misstep on our opponent's part. And now if we like company into Reflector Mage, then we get the Gideon too. Pretty good stuff for us. Okay, just another one creature collected company, but it's fine. That's one of the best hits we can have. Have this much Gideon, tech, face, leave up another company. would like to draw land for a uh, tracker plus make a clue, but hitting running companies is certainly a fine consolation. Bottom bottom goes to 11. So we'll flip the butcher. Uh, but now I can just play lieutenant, hit for what is that? It's eight. Both our creatures are immune to languish when I command the reflector mage. And should be pretty tough to come back from that. Unless we get player out potion, then that would suck. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Just go. Is this just secure the wastes? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I don't think attacking with Thali's lieutenant makes much sense. I mean, I guess I could have played Tireless Tracker pre-combat and attacked with Thalia's Lieutenant as well, but I don't know if I like that. Maybe that's a better play, though. One creature off of getting Ormondal, so don't have to worry about that. Precarious one life for our opponent. Top. Okay, probably getting planar outbursted. Which is not great. Makes me wish I had left a Pochetize command. Maybe screwed that up. Jeez, what would you top that's not planar outburst. I mean, theoretically, these warriors can chump everything, but seems like a bit of a stretch. Um... 
doesn't even, doesn't have the mana to activate Shambling Vent either. Could be Avacyn. I don't think many lists play Avacyn, but I, I guess that's something that they could have. If I draw a land, then I can counterfight a warrior and then Oshai's command and Avacyn. So that's why I wanted to crack the clue. So I'm just gonna go for that now. And fighting with Reflector Mage plays around ultimate price the best. And gets this card out of language range, which is also relevant. Okay, weird. I, I don't know what our opponent topped, which is very odd, but who knows? I also just realized we don't have negate in our sideboard, which is very awkward for this matchup. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'll be recording another another match after this to make up for the corrupted thing, and then I will add negate to our sideboard. Wasn't too relevant in the two ramp and the humans matchup, but it's it is definitely relevant here. So I apologize for that. I just copied the list, and I guess it didn't include negates for for whatever reason. So my mistake. Last opponent had a bunch of creatures in his black white deck, but I'm not sure that's necessarily the norm. I guess one command is is pretty fine, and maybe you don't want Avacyn on the draw. Our opponent had a bunch had a Halloween Lights in the main, and at, at least two Scalies, probably three. Excuse me. Oh, preview window. Yeah, not having these negates might uh might sting in this match, but maybe we can just power through it anyways. Some games you just wouldn't draw, you know? This hand's fine. Uh, Dramoka's command is a bit of an eyesore, but did want one to kind of like hedge against like Cletus and maybe Eldrazi Displacer, Thought Not Seer, something like that. Do have two collected companies? Is nice. Guess we'll go ahead and get an island. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Sweet. Haven't activated Dust Watcher crew very much. It's about to get grasped or priced. Oh, don't transgress me too. Might lose our tracker. Maybe not. All right. Yeah. Since we drew our land, let's just let's just jam our tracker. It might die without us getting any value, but just want to use my mana. I have two four drops. Yep, it's dead. Oh no. 
Uh, transgress, leap up moonlight is kind of brutal. I'll just let our opponent know that we drew this fortified village. I think that's better. I think playing Folly's Lieutenant is very weak, but I also don't want to just play company into mana there or an untapped languish. If our opponent does nothing, then yeah. Probably fairly easy to put them on Moonlight, so. Folly's Lieutenant in there. These Lieutenants definitely feel very weak in these kinds of matchups. This is like... Yeah, okay. Sure. I don't think Company into Moonlight's gonna really accomplish much. I'm going to save this land for a potential tireless tracker, but I'll play the other lieutenant. Something like Seventh land, Obnixilus, Leave of Moonlight would be rough, but hopefully our opponent just runs out of patience or something, but no. Here I'm going to respond to making a knight with the company, so at the very least our opponent won't get the knight. Yep. Maybe we can put some pressure on this Gideon, but okay, it's fine. This game did not go well. Bunch of interaction. Transgress for one company, Moonlight for the other. This matchup feels tough for sure. Plus, very aggressive. I don't know, maybe we can get the Gideon this turn, especially if we can, like, draw a human to. Okay. Hopefully, our opponent just doesn't have another Moonlight, but if their plan is to, like, shambling them block, then that's definitely great for us. Is this just secure for three? Sure. I'll let them commit as many as they want, and then hopefully this company just eats all the tokens. Cool. Give me a tracker or something. Ooh, wow. I haven't seen so many creatures in my life. I guess I just want the ones that can generate the most card advantage because I don't really expect these creatures to survive. So I'll just go with these two. That will kill all the warrior tokens. I can activate Dustwatch Recruiter. And I still have a clue in reserve. So that was actually a great turn for us. If we don't get languished here, we might be able to pull ahead. And even when we do get languished, I can put a counter on Thali's Lieutenant and have it survive.
looks like that might be, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just more important to keep this 5-5 into play than uh, activate Deathwatch Recruiter. It does stink, but now our opponent has no cards. Jeez, that is aggressive. Okay, so they're just committed to chump blocking with shambling vent. I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. That was a great draw. Go ahead and sack a clue first. Hopefully we don't get like removal spelled back and kill our Gideon, but you know, what can you do? Okay, just a planes, it's fine. I'd be really surprised if our opponent didn't make a knight this turn. Just plus things are so aggressive. Okay. So now we can plus our Gideon and attack all three of our creatures at Gideon and eat. No, I guess that's just worse than plussing and leaving back. Yeah. Since we're not guaranteed to kill Gideon this turn anyways, I think this is better. Just eats the knight, eats the shambling vent. We could like guarantee two damage on Gideon, but that's probably not going to be relevant. Okay, in pretty good shape here, but definitely a few top decks out of this black white deck could have us back on the ropes. Blight of Thin is not one of them though. So our Lamhole Pacifist is going to flip. Maybe they plus their Gideon just to eat our Pacifist? That would not be a bad play, I don't think. So I think this turn we'll send both at Gideon and make a knight, and then we'll probably start plussing our Gideon, just getting aggressive. <coughs> if we like plus Gideon and send, then we can like deal six damage this turn, or Maybe six damage, I guess I could chump with a knight, but I think this knight ally is going to deal more damage in the long term, especially because it wouldn't surprise me if I want an emblem. Okay. That's a lot of lands in a row. Well, I guess we're kind of in the same boat, but still. Interesting to chump block there instead of just taking the block in the night, but I guess I can understand the rationale. I was holding lands for Tireless Tracker, but I don't think we're gonna use them all. Okay. 
So not dead. Going to uh, two. I think only secure the waste gets our opponent out of this though. I guess like Soren minus seven or minus six could buy a turn. Oh, and Valva. Yeah, maybe that'll do it too. I hope it doesn't get an additional creature. Didn't even think about that. Okay, so this just forces a trump block. So it does buy a turn. I don't know if I've ever had a Gideon on eight before. Usually after like pounding my opponent four times, they're dead, but first time for everything, I guess. This has been such a weird game. Alright, we got it. 